Hey friends, happy, well, you'll see this on Monday, but it is Sunday night for me. I am recording this now. Um, I'm sure you can probably hear by my voice, I'm not feeling the hottest. Um, so I'm recording this now, Sunday night, because I have no idea how I'm going to feel on Monday. So, we're going to just sit here, I'm going to crochet. And we're going to just chit-chat about the week coming up. I apologize if you can't see everything I'm doing. I am trying my best. Um, I've been fighting sinus issues since yesterday. I think I mentioned we had Santa Ana winds, which are warm, dry winds. And that takes place every year around this time here in Southern California. And that was Friday and Saturday. And that has just messed me up because everything got stirred up. However, on the good note, I did feel good enough. I went to church this morning, went to church this evening. Beautiful services both times. So, I am just, I'm struggling. I took this project in the, in the car with me. Um... And I crocheted on the way home after we left church. And the sun was just going down, so I got a few rows in. But, <sighs> yeah, I crocheted until I couldn't see my stitches anymore. Anybody else do that when you're car crocheting? Crochet until it's just so dark you can't see your stitches anymore. And I know you can get neck lights and stuff like that, but I do not have a neck light, and I don't think I will get one for the car. Only because it would be a distraction to my husband driving, so. Um, but that's okay. I, I crocheted quite a bit on this. Um, let me get this last stitch in and I'll show you what I'm doing. Besides struggling. I'm on the struggle bus tonight, friends. So I started this out this morning when we left for church. And I only had about maybe that much done okay and I've just been crocheting on this all day throughout the day in the car and so as you can see it just keeps on going and going and going and I started out with almost a full cake of yarn this is the Ferris wheel by Lion brand and this is cotton candy uh, it is a medium four and it calls for a four and a half millimeter knitting needle and a five millimeter crochet hook and that's exactly what I am using I'm using a five oops sorry a five millimeter dots so that is what I am doing right now and I am turned around the wrong way and all I'm doing on this is just half double crochets. This is going to be a scarf for my best friend's mom. So, anyways, how was everybody's weekend? Hopefully not as crazy as ours. Um, but yeah, yeah. Like I said, we had a really good Sunday. We had a really good weekend. Our weekend was really good. Um, it was more laid back, which is really what I needed. Oh, and I did go to CVS yesterday for my little guy here. And this is what I found for his chapped lips. And this has already helped so much. Um, I found it there. It's like six forty nine for a two-pack of those. And they're perfect purse size, diaper bag size, whatever. And because I had coupons and everything else, I paid almost nothing for it. So, all right, we are at the point where the ball band doesn't want to hold the yarn still anymore. So, yeah, I'm just putting miles in on this. And then I put not too many miles in on the other scarf that I'm working on. That one's a little bit thicker yarn than this one. This yarn for that scarf is, well, it says it's also a medium four, but it's a thicker medium four. 
if you take and you compare these two, you can see what I'm talking about. So, yeah. So that's that. Um, so going forward this week on videos, I'm going to kind of just roll with it day by day. It's going to depend on how I feel. I'm praying when I wake up in the morning that these sinus issues are gone. But it also doesn't help. We've had very low humidity, so it's been very dry. So... I don't know why I'm struggling on this last stitch on the end here, but... It is what it is. So, I do have a couple of crafty idea projects. More yarn stash buster projects that we're going to look at doing this week. Towards the end of the week. Um, I know on Thursday we are going to the pumpkin patch. I know I said I wasn't sure if we were going to. Um, but my oldest asked, he asked me to, if we were going to go, and I said we could, but I drove by it, and it didn't look like they had many pumpkins, but then from pictures, they were overfilling with pumpkins, so I, I don't know, maybe I just drove by on a day that they were restocking the pumpkins or, or whatever, I don't know. So we are going to the pumpkin patch on Thursday and I will put up maybe a small clip on this, just my regular videos, but then um, it'll go into part of the uh, um, homeschool vlog. So I think, I think I haven't fully decided on that part yet. I'm hoping to get a second segment of the homeschool vlog up by the end of the month, but I'm going to be honest with you, friends. These next two weeks are going to be crazy busy for me. Um, we were talking about it in church this morning because November is going to be... We've got, like, first responder Sunday, and then that's the first Sunday in November. And then the Sunday after that is Veterans Sunday. And then the Sunday after that is Healthcare Worker Sunday. So we've got all that going on at church. But then at the end of this month, we have our Harvest Festival. And that's on a Thursday. So we'll be at church Wednesday night for regular Wednesday night service. And then Thursday night for the Harvest Festival on Halloween. And so I am looking forward to that. That is going to be so much fun. I keep seeing videos and pictures from last year, and I am super excited. So we will be doing that, and that's going to be a long night because we got to get there early to make sure we get parking, and then we got to be there a little bit after it ends because my husband's volunteering at it, and I'm going to take our little buddy around as well as my son. So, and then we'll probably stop and grab a bite to eat on the way home because it's just going to be, a, it's going to be such a long day unless we can eat beforehand, but I don't know. And then we're planning summer vacation 2025 already. And if everything works out, we're going to be taking this channel on the road for like three weeks. So... I am ecstatic about that. I'm not going to say anything about the plans we have yet, just because stuff changes, and it is only October 2024. However, because of where we want to go, we got to start booking hotels now, because of the time of the year we want to go. So I can say one hotel is already booked. So, there's that. And then I gotta get out on my patio and still clean up all my plants that died during the major heat wave over the summer. I think I have two two dead ones. And of course all my succulents are thriving and have like quadrupled in size. No water and heat and they've just been happy as can be. I mean I water them, but just 
like once a maybe once a month is all they require so when I do that I will take you guys out there with me so you can see my succulents I have been trying to get rid of them to be honest um, just to give them away to people because I feel like I'm neglecting them and not giving them the time that they should have um, because life has gotten super crazy busy for me but so far nobody has been able to take them so I guess they're just meant to be with me so I will go out there and give my patio some love and get the fall flag out there and get some fall decorations and unfortunately I cannot put lights on my balcony on the railing until Christmas time we used to be able to have them year round I had some really pretty lantern lights there were string lights but they were little lanterns um, that were on a on a wire so they plugged into the, the outlet out there I had those up for a couple of years and then we kept changing I keep dropping my stitches um, then we changed management and the management came around and said oh you need to take them down da, 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 da. I'm like what about all these other people that have them up and we think we're being targeted specifically because our apartment faces the office but then again so does many other apartments around here so I, I don't know we just took them down didn't argue I miss having them up I miss sitting out there at night and having my lights however I do have solar lights so I have two solar lights out there which are really nice so I still have some kind of light but just not the ones I wanted so I will put those up again at Christmas time I'll go get a strand of lights sadly Big Lots is gone and that's where I used to buy all my outdoor lights at so I guess I'll have to scour Walmart this year I don't like paying a whole lot because I always end up throwing them away at the end of the year because we pretty much leave them on day and night during the Christmas season so they're pretty much junk by the time Christmas rolls around or New Year's rather because that's when we're supposed to take them down is by New Year's unless this new management changed too I don't know I don't know but yeah so I have an Amazon order coming um, says tomorrow so if that Amazon order does come on time then we're gonna play around with that too because I'm gonna be making a couple of baskets with washcloths. I'm going to hand make some um, washcloths and make the baskets and put them in like a cellophane bag, tie it up really pretty, and I'm going to give those as a couple of gifts as, as well to people. So I am making a lot of my Christmas gifts this year just because, well, not only is everything crazy tight right now for everybody, but uh, my husband found um, the extent of my yarn collection last week he saw me pulling yarn out of one closet <laughs> piling it back in there and then going in the other closet and he's like you got a lot of yarn you need to use some of that up so and that's what I'm doing um I'm using up some of my yarn because we both agreed it is just too much to move in a couple of years. So, yeah. So I'm just trying to find stash buster projects that I can do that will make nice gifts. Or stuff I can give away to like an organization or something like that. So, yep, that's where we are at. And then I'm going to start making, hopefully making some die cuts, scrapbook stuff, 
think those listed for sale because I know the Christmas ones always sell. So, I'll do that. Maybe if I have time, I'm not going to stress myself out on that. If I have time, then I can get them up on my either my eBay or my Etsy. I have my Etsy store, I just haven't fully launched it yet. So, I'm thinking if I don't do it by the end of this year, it'll be first part of next year for sure. So, I'm just trying not to put more pressure on myself than I already have. So, anyways. So, yep, this week's going to be a lot of crochet and chats. We're going to have maybe a couple of crafty videos. For sure one, maybe two. Um, I need to find the yarn in my stash for one of the projects. I already have the red wooden beads. I just need to find white yarn because the white yarn that I pulled out is a chunky yarn and it's not going to work. I'm going to need to hold two strands of of four weight yarn together so so that's what we're going to do this week friends there will be videos um, I don't know what time each day they're going to get up but they will be up this video I will put up first thing in the morning when I get up so this one will go up early but going forward I don't know if I can get them pre-recorded the night before, then they'll go up in the morning. Otherwise, it's just going to be sometime during the day. Because first thing in the morning, I do all my quiet time. I do my Bible reading and my devotions. And then we jump into homeschool and life and dinner and whatever. And then I take my time for myself at night when everybody's going to bed. So... That is how this week's going to go. So, anyways, I hope you guys all had a fantastic weekend. I'm going to get off of here. I think I'm going to try and go and lay down. I've been having a sinus headache off and on today, and I really want to get through this skein of yarn, and I'm almost there. I'm almost there. So I think I'm going to finish this this cake of yarn and then I'll add the second one and in the morning the scarf will be done tomorrow. And then I'll focus on my uncle's scarf after that because that one's got to be longer than this one. But this one does need fringe on it so maybe I'll film that. Maybe I can film when I'm putting fringe on that. What do you guys think about that? Tell me what you think if you want me to want to see me adding fringe to a scarf how I do that. I would be more than happy to do that. And there will be a granny score video coming. Um, it's just not going to be this week. It might not be until the first part of November. Just because, like I said, my next two weeks are going to be crazy. Getting these fall events done and stuff like that. So, But there will be a granny score, a little tutorial video coming. Um, again, it'll probably be the first part of November. I'm, I'm guessing that's going to be my best bet unless I can stick it in these next two weeks, but we will see. So, anyways, yeah. So let me know if you want to see me adding fringe to this scarf. It wouldn't be a long video, it'd be a quick video, but you could see how I do it. So, alright friends, I'm off of here. I'm going to finish this cake of yarn and go to bed. Remember, I love you. God loves you. Be kind to one another. And I will see you sometime on Tuesday. Bye.